Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mila, your at Alexandrian Archives. I hope you enjoy your stay, whether you're new or whether you are a someone who has already watched my videos before. Today we're doing a an individual book review, but this time is actually two books, so is it really an individual book review? No. But since it's not one book, but schematics. <laughs> so, as I said, today we are doing an individual book review for two books because they're part of a series and I try to put this book series together so I don't have so many videos to edit, but so that you guys still have enough content to watch. So today's books are, uh, this is the Emily Wilde trilogy. I'm not sure what the title series, like the series title is, but the first book is called Emily Wilde's Cyclopedia of Fairies. And the second book is called Emily Wilde's Map of the Otherlands. And so, um, let's get right to it. If you don't know, if you're new here and you haven't watched any of my individual book reviews before, the way that I go about it is I give you a brief synopsis, sort of the genre, um, age range, who it's by, it's a, and any other sort of general info that you might want to know about. And then I go into my thoughts and sort of notes. And then I give you a small section in the end as who I would recommend this for. And I feel like this is a very simple and streamlined process of reviewing a book where you sort of get all the information that you typically need for a book review to figure out about, figure out whether or not you want to read it. So yeah, so let's get to it. So Emily Wilde, Encyclopedia of Fairies is the first book, as I said, in a trilogy. The third book is coming out next year. <laughs> I'm kind of mad at myself for reading the books so early on. I'm gonna open this and hopefully it's not too loud um, because I am sweating up a storm here. Anyways, so Emily Wilde is a famous dryadology professor and dryadology is dryads, but it's also um, like the study of fae and fairy and the hidden folk. So if you like that stuff, Actar fans, stay away from this because if you're thinking that you're gonna get Actar style fairies, no, that's not what you're gonna get. If you're gonna get like, <laughs> you know what I mean, stay away from it if you want Actar style fairies, okay? Because that's not what it is. This is very much like a cozy hug of a book. Like it's it's just warm. It's nice to read. Um, so the first book follows Emily Wilde who and she goes to this very northern village in one of the Scandinavian countries. It's not specified but you can guess that it's probably Norway because of the specific letters. It could be Sweden as well but you don't know. It's anyway Scandinavia and one of the distant Scandinavian uh, countries and it's a sort of very remote village in the sense that it's like two fairies a week or no sorry a fairy every two weeks that can take you there and that's not even the last stop it's like in the middle stop so if you miss it you're screwed but yeah so she goes to this remote village to learn about their fairy because she is making an encyclopedia of fairies wow and then she encounters a little fairy and she encounters the villagers and there's just a bunch of stuff happening and it's fun and there's a lot of snow there is too much snow too much snow <laughs> too much snow uh she has an adorable dog named shadow and she's amazing she's so smart she's so witty and I just love the way she's written. And then we have Wendell Bambleby. I hope I'm saying that right because I don't know, Bambleby? I think that's the way you'd say his last name. And he is Emily Wilde's um, academic rival, so to speak, but also reluctant friend slash 
academic partner. Basically, he has the whole of the academic world of dryology, dryology wrapped around his finger because he is charming, he is suave, he is charismatic, and everyone loves him. And also he's a man. <laughs> so there's that. And um, whereas Emily Wilde is constantly pushed to the side and constantly, uh, you know, challenged and, you know, constantly argued against and everything. So he comes to help her and things, they find things out and everything and it's a fun time and I highly recommend. And yeah, so this is also, uh, I didn't say, but the two books are by Heather Fawcett. She's a Canadian author. Uh, so the coldness in the first book really hits home, really hits Canada here because, oh boy, uh, do we have winters. So. Um, Emily Wilde, I would recommend, yeah, my thoughts, sorry, I'm all over the place in this case. My thoughts, I really enjoyed this, I really liked the first one, I have thoughts about the second one, <laughs> which I will get to in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed myself, um, and I had a really fun time, I read it over like two days, I think, and I really enjoyed it, um, yeah. So, who do I recommend this for? Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the recommending thing at the end once I've talked about the second book. I can't say much about the second book, but basically, we find a certain thing out about a specific character, and then we go to another place to find something. <laughs> I am not the biggest fan of the second book which you're probably like mila when are you ever a fan of the second book thing is you know i have low expectations when it comes to second books but just to give the book a chance to surprise me right which is sort of you know not what happened here and I just think that because Wendell, Wendell gets poisoned at the beginning of the first book and it's slowly taking over his body, like it's hurting him. And um, him not really being in the story sort of took away a piece of the thing that I enjoyed in the first one, which is their antics, but because he was poisoned and half coherent half the time it didn't hit the same also i think she tried to get this whole found family aspect into the second book as well with the villagers but i don't think it hit as much as the first one did because in the second book they're like i don't know it's just it feels like the dis the villagers are very distant and very cold and it just didn't have that same charm and same warmth. That's not to say that the second book is awful. I just think that she definitely didn't hit her goals in the same way that she hit the same aspects in the first book. So yeah, I'd still recommend you continuing it. I'm still going to read the third book. I'm very excited for it. But yeah, like that's, that's sort of it. And so... Who do I recommend this for? Um, cozy cottagecore fans, fans of fairies and folklore, and I'm not talking about actor, I'm talking about like Ireland folklore, Celtic folklore, you know, Scottish folklore, like the fairies that are cunning and you have to watch how you talk to them and stuff, otherwise they'll take your words like literally and everything. And for fans of academic lovers. Rivals to lovers. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my socials. Let me know your thoughts down below. Whether you are going to be reading the first book. Whether you're going to be continuing with the second book. Or whether you will be reading the third book. If you read the first two books. Basically, your thoughts about the series. And I will see you in the next one. Happy reading.